issues. Just some of the reasons more than a thousand Texas kids are removed from their homes each month. And while reports of abuse and neglect are down, the data shows removals have held fairly steady, with CPS still investigating, even during emergency stay-at-home orders. And as things like school and summer camps begin to open, we do expect to see probably an influx of reports and likely an increase in the number of kids coming into the system. CASA already needs more court-appointed special advocates to fight for kids' best interests. Right now, there are nearly 500 volunteers in Travis County, but close to 600 kids still need one. CASA for the Highland Lakes area, from San Saba down to Blanco, serves fewer kids, but says 38 of them still need an advocate. I just think it's really accelerated. Um, the the isolation, the abuse. They've seen more than 30 new cases just since mid-March. We thrive on, on seeing the kids in person. So how have your volunteers been addressing kids' problems during this health crisis? Through Zoom, through FaceTime. We've had advocates leave a pizza on, on the porch and just be creative. They say the community can get creative too, donating gift cards or tablets and technology to help these kids. And create some sense of normalcy. Avery Travis, KXAN News. CASA has moved their volunteer training entirely online. We've got details on how you can get involved. It's online now at KXAN.com. Police getting complaints about people who aren't following social distancing guidelines. What a local police chief says his department is doing to try to keep people from putting the health of others at risk. Already five inches of rain in this month of May so far. We may be at eight inches by this time next week. Your first warning forecast through the holiday coming up.
You might not be sure what to do if you suspect a business isn't complying with new coronavirus guidelines. In many cities, police departments are handling those complaints about large gatherings or a lack of social distancing. And as more businesses gear up to reopen, they expect to see the calls increase. KXAN's Dara Rahman reports on how the Kyle Police Department and one local business are handling safety concerns. This is where the magic happens. Moving from curbside and carryout orders to in-person dining has been intentionally slow at Milt's Pit Barbecue in Kyle. We don't have the tables inside. We have the limited tables outside. We set that up to prevent any kind of mass gatherings like that. The owner of Milt says so far they haven't gotten any complaints or visits from police officers, but that's not the case for everyone. Up to 10 a week on a busy week. Sometimes it's two or three in a week. Kyle Police Chief Jeff Barnett says typically complaints are related to large gatherings or a lack of social distancing. And the officers, their first thing to do is to go and respond and see what they see from their own observations. Chief Barnett says in many cases, officers have the authority to issue jail time or a fine, but they haven't had to do that yet. As soon as we give that educational information to the person that's violating, they immediately comply and apologize and just they fixed the problem right away so we have not had to take any any more additional enforcement other than just awareness. The chief says he expects the calls to increase as more businesses reopen ahead of the holiday weekend. But for his part, Greg Devonshire says he's closing on Monday to keep the crowds away. You know, I don't want to feel like I am liable for anything that may spread. So it's, it's a touchy situation as a business owner. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. The city of San Marcos says it's received seven complaints related to social distancing. City of Buda hasn't received any.